Greetings freaks and folks, this is Vlad the Lad, back with more spoilers for today. I had a little glimpse on it and I do know that it's not a champion reveal, unfortunately. But we have four new cards in total and I also had a glimpse on it that it's about Xerxes? Xerxes? Uh, I still don't know how to pronounce it, maybe you can help me in the comments down below. Other than that, we will check these cards out together. Let's go. They were pu published uh, a couple of minutes ago. So we do have only Shuriman cards, um, which means Cersei, Cersei will be a Shuriman card himself. Probably. Most of you probably already know this, but um, now it's sort of confirmed, I guess. So we start off with the three mana 2-3. A Lurker himself, he has Lurk and the play effect will predict. Oh! That's awesome. Because... You know, he has synergy in his, with his self, sort of. Because, like you know from the video yesterday, Lurk is that you need to have a Lurker on top of your deck. And with Predict, you can put something on top of your deck. So, this boy himself is, I think, an auto-include in every Lurk deck there is. Where you run Shurima, but I think most of the time you want to run both Bilgewater and Shurima in those decks. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's hardly... It's hard to think of a deck where you don't run to want to run these um, to have the full lurk potential, right? So yeah, a really really solid card overall. Bit underset it though, but I mean the play effect is quite strong and it can pump up the attack more as he himself has three HP with four three mana. So I think that this card is perfectly balanced. This Cersei caller. All right, and then we have the Feral. Resonance, which is a zero mana burst speed main deckable, and it says predict. And this is the tits. Remember when I had my double legions deck where I said we need more spells to actually predict? Now, now we have. And this makes it so much better because you have a proactive play where you can predict with, and then you can play the allegiance cards. So because this costs zero mana, you don't even need to bank spell mana. You can actually tap out completely in turn one through three. And on turn four, where you want to play your allegiance cards, you play this card beforehand and you definitely know what's on top of your deck. And then you just um, play your allegiance card and you get the effect off right away. So this is awesome. And also, like I said, with the predict with lurk is perfect. It, I mean, it's meant to be, right? But uh, this makes this deck so much better, and I'm totally in for getting back to my deck. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I will put up a link up there to the D Double Allegiance deck that I built together with Zillion and Gangplank, I think it was. And probably it will be with... I mean, what, what's the champion then? I, I thought the champion is Xerxes, but maybe it's only the race. Um, so probably... I, I heard of Rex, Rexe normally, but... Yeah, I, I have to re recheck this. Basically, this bug, void, alien thingy that we also saw in the, in the trailer uh, champion, he will probably also have lurk and maybe uh, any predict uh, mechanics. So uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to him. Then we have a three mana burst speed careful preparation, which says to play, place a card from your hand into your deck, predict then create a copy of the chosen card in hand. What the hell? <laughs> this is weird. So it's sort of a counterfeit copies in a sense that you put a copy of a card from your hand into the deck, but you shuffle the, the card itself into the deck and then afterwards you get a copy in the hand and meanwhile you predict. Uh... I have no idea whatsoever what this, what what you could make of this. Like, I mean, things that come to mind right away are things with Kahiri, right? So, I mean, probably this is Kahiri on the on the artwork there. But I, I'm not quite sure how this works out, right? Because probably you want to put back the Kahiri into the deck, then you can maybe have the bigger odds to predict him, like Kiri the Returned, because you put one Kiri back into the deck, normally you want to have him as long in the deck as you can, before you predict 
uh, all the time pumping him up, and then you want to draw the big Kahiri. So if you draw the Kahiri early on, you can put him back into the deck uh, in the first place and then predict him, as he you, you maybe again have three copies of him in the deck, and then you yet again will get another Kahiri into your hand. So um, I, I don't really know what this... Um, why this, like shuffling this card into the deck instead of just putting a copy of that card into the deck right away, right? I, I don't really understand why this is, but maybe we'll see a card in the future that has use for this effect. All right. Then we have another Xursei Dune Breaker, which is a six mana, three six with O on. Ooh. So we do have a thick boy here. Um, Overwhelm is a really, really good keyword, but six mana is a lot. Other than that, we have a six HP um, body with it. So if you manage to get the lurk of, let's say four times, probably you will until round six, it will have the same stats like the Wild Claw, the Alpha Wild Claw. And this is quite, Big, but, but I don't know yet. Like we haven't played the lurk ability or the lurk keyword yet, right? So we don't know how reliably we can get off the plus one attack because you, remember you can only only have it one round, uh, once per round activated the lurk effect. So we don't really know if you can have this reliably um, like four times or so until round six. Um, and also, I mean, lurk goes off when you attack. So until round six, you normally have three attacks to do that, right? Unless you have this double attack Bilgewater card that we had saw yesterday. Um, yeah, so looks really solid uh, in terms of HP and mana. But other than that, we have to wait and see how reliably we will uh, be able to activate Lurk. Uh, yeah, but that's already it for the cards for today. I don't want to milk them uh, as or like longer than it needs to be, right? Um, probably tomorrow. I hopefully tomorrow. I think. I mean, they only have eight more days, right? So, and they have three champions to reveal. So probably we will see a champion tomorrow, and I'm totally up for that. I hope it's the uh, Rock Ra Ra dude, the the champion from those Buck Alien thingies maybe you can support me a bit more with the lore uh, like you did in the video yesterday um big thanks for that also big thanks for uh, any like and also the subscribe if you want to see more and if you like the video uh, potentially i would really get if you could support this video and other than that i will see you guys uh, tomorrow until then you stay legendary let out